hi guys uh welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are here for the first time welcome um today's uh video is on getting customers okay so this is going to be a tricky one for me to share but i figured i should i'm gonna apply what worked for me when i was in western province and then what i'm trying to apply here in osaka it's been a bit difficult here there's so much competition just it's been very difficult but this worked for me in Mongo. I could not speak the language. I I lived there for two years and then I came to Lusaka and I could not speak the Lozi language. And people have things to say about Lozi people. But I lived there and I didn't have issues with anybody there. I think you just have to respect people's uh, cultures and people's traditions in their languages. And if you're in, in the area, just respect the um, the practices and you'll be fine okay so to get customers what i did was okay first of all it was an accidental baking thing that happened in fact so people would come home i'd bake for my family and people would come and then would have people over and they'll taste my cakes and they'll be like oh my god your cakes are awesome you should totally start baking yeah but i told that story in a different video anyway it took me a minute to do that but i what got me started was baking a cake for someone from church and once i baked that cake word went round and people started calling me for orders and that's how i basically started there so um word of mouth will sell for you but before word of mouth sells for you you have to um you have to improve your baking quality you don't want to set people to pay you their hard-earned money for terrible cakes that's not right it's unethical so you need to make sure that the quality that you're sending out there is good enough and people that are paying get their money's worth so before you start sending word out anywhere make sure you do your homework that you learn that your recipes are good and that what people are paying for they're getting their money's worth so improve your recipes learn 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 never stop learning yeah so have great great uh have good cake recipes that you're using and be consistent and consistency is um developed by having the right utensils having scales having measuring cups and all that stuff so that you have and just figuring out the right temperature for your oven and asking for feedback ask for feedback from whoever tests your cake my family is a family of bakers and they do not hold back on telling you if there is something wrong with what you prepared so just ask for feedback don't be offended it's a learning curve it's a learning process it's okay if somebody says it was too dry or i could smell that egg or you know you learn and then you can figure out how best you can improve okay so after you've done all that and figured out your cake recipe create a facebook page um create a facebook page for um your business have photos of your samples um yeah and then run a giveaway i, I did i ran a couple of giveaways in mongo and that just got a lot of traction um the people that won the cakes however never bought cakes from me but because of people constantly my, my my page being active and people constantly posting and talking about it i gained new clients through giveaways and also make your reviews visible so each time i bake a cake for someone and they'll give me a review i'll you know get that and post it on my page so people can know that what i'm baking is good um yeah so those are the tips for getting customers for your baking home baking business yeah um yeah so thank you and see you on the next one bye